This video covers creating barcodes and barcode regions for use with Remark Office OMR. Barcodes are a reliable way to capture information from a form while using a small amount of space. They may be used to capture information such as names, ID numbers, session or class numbers, and other demographic information. Remark recognizes many different types of barcodes. For this video, we will be working with the Code 3 of 9 barcode. The Code 3 of 9 barcode installs with your Remark software or may be downloaded from our website. The Code 3 of 9 barcode font may be selected within your word processing software, the same as any other font. Barcode should be properly formatted in order to give you the best recognition results possible. Barcode should be at least 26 points in height or about a quarter of an inch high. They may be placed vertically or horizontally on your forms. Do not put text or lines or any other graphics within 3 eighths of an inch of the barcode. Barcodes must be in the same place on each form. To create your barcode, type the information you need in your regular font. Add an asterisk to the beginning and the end of the text. Add an exclamation point to represent any spaces within your text. To change the text to Code 3 of 9 format, select the text, then change the font to 3 of 9 barcode font. Make certain the font size is at least 26. Barcodes may vary in length depending on what you are capturing. Be certain to leave enough room for the largest expected barcode both on the form and when you create your region definition in your form template. If you would like to be able to read the barcode with the human eye, place the text of the barcode in small light print directly beneath the barcode. The text should be light enough to drop out during scanning so it does not interfere with barcode recognition. The Remark Office OMR Template Editor is used to create templates. The template defines all the information needed for the software to process your form correctly. For our purposes today, we will be working with a generic answer sheet which includes a barcode containing our class name. In order for Remark to capture the data contained within our barcode, we must first tell the software where to look for the information, so we need to define our barcode region. We can do this one of two ways. We can either select Page, Insert, and then select the barcode region item in the list, or we may also use the Insert Barcode Region icon in our toolbar. When we select to add the barcode region, our cursor becomes a crosshair. By using our mouse, we can click and drag to create the region over top of our barcode. When we release the mouse button, our barcode region properties window will appear. The first thing that we need to do is give our region a name. If we weren't certain of the barcode type, we could click on Detect. However, we can also click on the down arrow and select our code 39 or code 3 of 9 barcode from the list. Our barcode is on our form horizontally. If our barcode was on the form in a vertical orientation, we could select the down arrow and select vertical from the drop down list. Our data type is textual. If we needed our data in numeric format, we could simply select the down arrow, and select Numeric Data Type. If our barcode contained multiple items, we would put a check mark in the checkbox. We could use the down arrow to select our item delimiter, and we would tell the software how many items are contained within our barcode. For our purposes today, our barcode contains one item so we'll remove the check mark from the multiple items checkbox. The check mark in the include region and read operation ensures that the information contained within our barcode 
will be displayed within the data center. If we click OK, we have defined the basics for our barcode region. Once we have finished defining our barcode region, we want to make certain that the information appears in the order we want it to appear in the data center. As we defined our barcode after all the other pieces of information on the answer sheet, if we need to move it, that can be done simply by using the mouse again, clicking and moving the barcode to where we would like it to appear. Now when we look at our data in the data center, our student ID will appear in the first column, followed by the class name barcode information in the second column. We would then save our template, and then launch the template into the Remark Office OMR data center so that we can begin reading in our completed forms. Before we begin reading in our completed answer sheets, let's take a second to confirm the settings for our barcode region. We can see those simply by selecting the column and hovering our mouse over top of the column header. Here we can see that this is a barcode region that is a code 39 barcode, that it's horizontal orientation. To read in our completed forms, we can select Read. We can select to either scan directly from our scanner or to read in image files. For our purposes today, we will be reading image files. Select Next. Browse to the location where your image files are stored. Select the necessary image files. Select either Add All or Add Selected, depending on your needs. The selected image files will appear in the bottom portion of the Read Image File screen. Then simply click Read. Once all of our completed answer sheets have been read into the Remark Office OMR Data Center, we can take a quick look at one of the cells under the barcode region column and we can clearly see that the barcode has been read and references history, so we know that our class name is history. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about the Remark software, please use the information on this screen. We look forward to hearing from you.